Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today I'm going to do a he and she reading, and it is for November 8th, 2019. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Um, this is going to be the he side, and this is going to be the she side. But you can also swap the energies, okay? So if you are in a, if you are a female and you're in the masculine energy, um, this could be your side. And if you're a male, but in your, you're feeling the female energy, this would be your side. So it can be swapped. Okay. Um, if it doesn't resonate, most likely it's not for you. Okay. But, um, if it does, I would like to know, I would appreciate that. That would be awesome. I'd like to say hello to my subscribers and welcome to any new subscribers. And uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the he side, okay? The he side of the part, part of the reading, which is the side. I'm going to go ahead and get started there first, okay? These are pre-shuffled, but you know, of course, I'm going to shuffle a little bit more, all right? So God, angels, universe, ancestors, spirit. Okay. So this is going to be the energy of his side. Okay. And the energy of his side is the eight of wands, which denotes communication. Okay. Somebody's going to come in with, for, with information. Either he's going to be bringing it or she's going to be bringing it, right? Either way, somebody's going to bring in communication in regards to the he side. Let's go ahead and get three cards uh, for the he side to see what is going on with him currently for October 8th, 2019. Please let me get three cards for the he side for November 8th, 2019. For the he side, please let me get three cards for the he side for November 8th, 2019. God, angels, universe. Okay, well, here's the first card. And the first card we have is the Five of Pentacles. Okay, put that right there. All right, what else do you have? God, angels, universe, ancestors, all of the above. Please give me two more cards for the he side of this reading, for the he she reading, for November 8th. There we are. The next card we have here is the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. So what's going on with him? Let's see. Somebody, or he seems to be feeling that uh, he's out in the cold, right? Five of Pentacles. Perhaps uh, he has been kicked out. He has been left behind. Somehow, he is feeling out in the cold, or he is out in the cold, okay? <clears throat> and somebody came into him with some information, okay? Some really harsh and direct communication. And this communication involved the Ten of Swords. And he has had the ultimate backstabbing. Okay? So, it seems like he's going through a lot right now. He's going through a lot of stress and anxiety. He's being stabbed in the back. He's finding out terrible information. He feels thrown out in the cold, or he has been. Okay? Let's go ahead and clarify these to see what else we can find out with these cards. I'm using the nighttime cards. I have day and night. This is day, this is night. I'm using the night for the male, okay, for the he. All right, these are already also pre-shuffled. God, angels, universe. What can you tell me about this Five of Pentacles? What can you tell me about this Five of Pentacles? We have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? The Knight of Pentacles. 
what else can you tell me about this Five of Pentacles for him? God, interesting responses received. Please tell me. Okay. So, when it comes to this Five of Pentacles, it seems like there's really some slow coming information, okay? Because we know that the the Jack of Diamonds is the Knight of Pentacles, and that is a super slow knight, okay? And this person might be working um, on their Pentacles right now, okay? So they're trying to perfect their craft or whatever it is they do. They're trying to perfect that, trying to work hard on that. And then we have the Six of Clubs. And usually the Six of Clubs is victory. But in this case, it's the Tower. Okay? And I'm feeling it's the Tower because of the negative cards that we have above. Okay? So this person may have gotten some news which brought in the Tower moment. They probably had been working on their Pentacles or their money. And they got information, slow-moving information that came in about that. Now I'm feeling like somebody's feeling out in the cold because they are lacking. And I'm feeling like they're lacking. I'm feeling like they're lacking possibly because maybe they have been, um, the tower moment that came in on them were, is in regards to money, okay? And they are feeling a lack because I think somebody may have, may have, okay, um, taken money from them. All right. So they have a negative, um, they have negativity in regards to money. And I feel that perhaps somebody came in, somebody was working hard on the money, and all that hard work, you know, their money was gone. And I think that's why this um, Six of Clubs is here, this tower moment, okay? They're realizing that somebody has, has taken from them, all right? And that they're feeling out in the cold, perhaps, because maybe they can't um, meet up with their financial obligations. Okay? So, let's find out what this Knight of Swords is for the He side. What's up with this uh, Knight of Swords for the He side, please? Knight of Swords. God, angels, universe, ancestors, spirit, all of the above. What can you tell me about this Knight of Swords in regards to He for November 8th, 2019? Okay. <clears throat> so we have the Two of Swords and the Hangman. Okay. So I'm feeling like I'm feeling like somebody is, you know, trying to think about what they can do about a situation, okay? Because of the, the loss that they've um, recently encountered, and um, they might have had an argument with somebody and they might have lost more than just you know money or pentacles or material items whatever it is they might have lost a little bit more than that let's see what's next here okay we have the ace of swords somebody wanting to come in with truth maybe so maybe somebody did let's see what's next and then we have the nine of cups Okay, so I got this. So what's happening here is information came in. They felt stuck in a situation. They went into hangman mode to think about it, right? Some harsh and direct information or communication came in, and it was in regards to their Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment card, you know, having a happy family, having emotions and all that good stuff, but it wasn't good in their situation. Perhaps they have uh, been in a romantic situation and it came to an end. 
It might have came to an end abruptly, and it may have ended with harsh words. Okay? Didn't end nicely. How about that? Okay? So I'm feeling like, you know, information came in. They found out what happened. They went within trying to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to deal with this. Um, they're not able to start this new um, endeavor, or maybe they are, but maybe not with that person. Okay, because you can start anything you want to at any time. The thing is, it's if you want to, and you know you don't want to keep yourself trapped. And right now, maybe he might feel be feeling a little trapped in this situation because he doesn't know what to do. That's why he's going within to try and figure things out. And this has to do with his relationship, you know, or it could be job, you know. You know, if you're a single person, that's what it could be. But um, I'm taking it that this is a, a relationship. God, angels, universe, ancestors, spirit, please let me know. This is for the Ten of Swords. And once again, we have the Ten of Swords. So this person is really going through it right now. Really having a hard time, okay? Feeling double stabbed in the back because maybe they were stolen from and maybe it was by somebody that they trusted who could be the Queen of Pentacles which is the person that they are directly related to when it comes to this Nine of Cups okay let me get one more card please God, Lord, Antifer, Angels Ooh. well we got two cards out so let's see what that is I'm gonna take them and it did that little stand up there. Did you not see that? Wow. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out what Source is trying to tell us here about he or him. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. And somebody has walked away. Okay, so somebody walked away from this situation. I have a feeling that it's the Queen of Pentacles walking away here, okay? And this is also this is also the moon card. Okay. The night cards have this picture on it, okay? Let's see what else, uh, what else we got. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Clubs, which is a Queen of Wands. So I think this person has been, what I'm thinking is this person has been really, really deceived, backstabbed, and really hurt. And I have a feeling that it might have been by the Queen of Pentacles. So this person is walking away, and he may be moving towards a queen of clubs, which is the queen of, so of um, wands, okay? This is how I'm feeling about this. Because of all this deception that's happened, you know, with them, I think they're just fed up with it. They're walking away from it. They're getting away from that. All the secrets, the lies, deception, the mystery, whatever's been happening, because this person was kept in the dark about something. This person was kept in the dark about something, and it involves the Queen of Pentacles, and they walked away. And now this person is wanting to move towards the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles has, you know, has had some deep deception towards this, this guy, you know, towards him. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for a minute, and I'm going to go ahead and come to her side, and let's find out what's going on with her. Okay, these are already pre-shuffled, but we're going to go ahead and get started and try and see if we can get that energy card out. What is going on with her, God, Angels, Universal, Ancestor, Spirit, for November 8th, 2019, for this He and She reading? What's going on with her? Can I get an energy card, please? There we are. Okay, so in regards to her, we have the Ten of Pentacles. 
So she may have found uh, financial stability. Okay, she's doing well. Um, she has no issues with money right now. She seems to be um, she seems to be taking care of business. Okay, this is what she's doing. Let's go ahead and find out. Let me get three cards for her side. First card that we have is the world. Hmm. Seems like she might be doing well, okay? But we have the world card first, okay? Let me get two more cards for her side for the he and she reading for November 8th, 2019. So I'm just in person spirit. All of the above. Let me get two more cards for for her side of the reading, for the he and she reading. What's going on with her? Let me get two cards. There we are. So the next cards we have out are the magician. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so when it comes to these cards, okay, the world card is having everything. You know, you're, you've completed whatever it is you need to complete. You're happy about the situation. Everything's going just peachy, right? That's like, you know, having the, you know, you have the world. That's your everything, right? Yet, even though she has this, she's growing, you know, her pentacles are getting well and her financial stability is doing well, she's still trying to manifest something, okay? She's still trying to manifest something to grow, okay? So she might be thinking of something because she's holding the magician energy. The magician can manifest. This is a master manifester. And then we have this a Six of Pentacles right here. And the Six of Pentacles is, you know, it's in regards to giving, you know, giving to, to two, three, four, whoever, however many. So she might be a very giving person. She may be enlightening people. She may be giving things to others, others that will help them. Okay? She's doing things to help others, I'm thinking. Or she may just be giving her time to herself and her future. It could be that too. Okay, those are two different things that she could be doing. But either way, she is trying to manifest something. And she wants to fit everything into this manifestation because she's a very giving person. All right. She has everything she needs. And... She's still trying to manifest. Perhaps she's trying to manifest giving things to others, you know, helping others, being a humanitarian, whatever it is, something like that. Okay? So let's go ahead and clarify these cards and see what exactly they mean. Okay? What, what is going on with these uh, to find out more clarification? So let's go ahead and clarify the world and find out God, angels, universe, and her spirit, all the above. What is going on with this world card in regards to her in the He and She reading for November 8th, 2019? Let me get a couple cards. Let me get like three cards, please, if you can. Thanks. So, this is what we have. First, we have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups means, you know, giving your emotions to another. So she may have given her, or she may be giving her emotions to another person, or she may be thinking about doing it, or she's going to do it, or she's done it. Right? And this is why the World card might be here. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, well, we have the Four of Cups. So maybe what's going on here is somebody has offered their emotions to her, and maybe she has not accepted it. She's pretty much like, yeah, let me think about it. You know, she's not really making a decision. She's just thinking about it right now. But emotions were offered. Okay. Because, you know, she can take care of herself. She's got the world there. She's already got what she needs. Next we have 
the Five of Cups. Okay, so she may have turned down the offer or somebody turned down her offer. So she might have offered her love to somebody. They may have turned it down. And now she's upset about it, okay? It could be like that, or it could be that she, uh, he, uh, somebody offered her emotions, she turned it down, and they're upset. So it can work either way with those two scenarios, okay? And maybe this is in regards to whoever she thinks is her world. So she might think that the person who she looks at as her world, as the person that she she loves or whatever, maybe she tried to offer her love, and this person was really like, you know, not really giving her an answer, not really being straight with her, and things came to an end, and now somebody's crying over spilt milk about the loss. But what they're not realizing, of course, is there's still a couple cups standing there, they still have a chance at something. Okay. Let's go ahead and find out what this magician card is here. What is this magician card here for her side? For the she reading for November 8th, 2019. Uh, please give me three cards. And let me know what is going on with this magician card. Why is this magician card here? Why is this here? Magician card. First card out. The King of Pentacles. <clears throat> I'm going to get two more cards for that King of Pentacles and the Magician. Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> One more card, please. What is that Ten of Pentacles? What is that King of Pentacles? King of Pentacles? Please, that King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And then the Magician, please, on my card. Okay. <clears throat> so, she may be trying to manifest a future with the King of Pentacles. Okay. And she may be this Queen of Hearts. So I'm taking it that she may have offered the King of Pentacles her love. And he didn't really answer. He didn't really give an answer. But it all came to an end. So perhaps she made, made it come to an end. Because perhaps she realizes that she has two other cups there that she can move forward with. Okay? Because maybe... She got no answer, no communication, somebody got ghosted, whatever the case. The person who she felt was her world has not communicated anything, truth or, or love or emotions to her. Perhaps has avoided answering the question of emotion that she may have given. And now she's crying over spilt milk over the loss because... I mean, why move forward with somebody who just doesn't want to answer or who doesn't want to give an answer? Who's just thinking about it? And, you know, if somebody cares about you, they should have no problem telling you what you need to know or, or you know, responding or, or letting you know. There's nothing to think about, right? Either you like them or you don't. So she felt most likely that... This person was just not in it to win it, right? They were just not, you know, going to go forward. Or they were just going to not give an answer, you know. Not giving an answer is also an answer. Okay. My candle's going crazy right now. One of them is. It's a sign of spirit. So she's trying now she's trying to manifest this king of pentacles because she wants this you know ten of pentacles she wants the happy house and the happy home and the family life she is the queen of cups she has a lot of emotion for the situation 
And she's trying to manifest this now. She's trying to manifest it and bring back whatever it is that she wants. And it could be the person who just did not answer. Okay. She's still trying to plant the seeds and grow those seeds. She's still trying to manifest this. All right? Tell me about this Six of Pentacles on her side, the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? We have the Nine of Wands and the Sun. This is the sun. And the nine of wands usually is somebody fighting for something because they want something. Maybe she is fighting for her sunshine, the person that she believes is her happy happiness, her ultimate happiness, and that she wants to fight for it. Okay. She's working hard on her things, on herself, on her, her pentacles, and trying to find stability here. And she's trying to fight for the person that she considers to be her sunshine. And then we have the Eight of Wands. So is this Eight of Wands the same Eight of Wands that's on his side? Information coming in? Or is it him bringing information to her? Or is it that they both want to give information to each other, but they're not? That's a possibility too. Okay? These two may be wanting to communicate, but they're just not doing it. Why? I'm not sure. All right? Let me get a, one more card for her side uh, in regards to this communication. What's up with this communication? Is what's coming in or who's going to give it? Oh my god, the card flew and I don't, I don't see where it's at. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Swords. So, you know, when I flipped this card and I saw it, I'm thinking, I am definitely thinking that. There has been deception in a situation. He does not want to communicate with her because of the deception of the past that he may have done to her. So he may not want to communicate, but she does because she sees him as a son. She wants to fight for this. She wants to communicate, but he doesn't. Maybe not yet, but she definitely wants to communicate. Okay. She already knows about the deception. It's, she understands it. But you know what? She's a forgiving person. She's a giving person. And he should know that by now. And you see we have nine, eight, seven. The countdown, right? Until the countdown until somebody communicates. That's what's coming to my mind, okay? And we're only at seven. But there's some deception here and there's lessons to be learned. And this is why no communication has come in yet. <clears throat> because it's just not it's just not ready. It's not ready to come in. She's still manifesting, okay? That's why she's manifesting. Because it hasn't come in yet, basically. Okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and pick these up, add them back to the deck. Okay, I will shuffle those right before I um, use them. But I'm going to leave those out because we may need to refer back to them. And I'm going to go ahead and find out uh, what else is going on with him in this situation. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Cups. What else is going on with him in this situation when it comes to this he and she reading for November 8th, 2019? What is going on with him? What is going on with him in this he she reading in regards to uh, him uh, 
for November 8th. Okay, I got four cards out. You know what? I'll just take them. So the first card is the Emperor, or well, the second card, first, second. The next card out we have is Justice, and then we have the Two of Swords. Interesting. So after all this deception and you know, this bad news being thrown out in the cold. Somebody is thinking about, you know, what they can do in this situation. All right. I'm sure they have a lot of options and we can go that way. But in this situation, I'm feeling like this emperor is just trying to think about how he can approach the situation. Okay. He wants justice. He wants justice for all the backstabbing. He realizes now that it's it, it was just not, it was no good. And this person is trying to make a choice. He's trying to make a choice on which way to go or how he can go about this. How he can go about passing this information, sending information, dealing with this situation. But he wants justice, definitely, okay? I could say signs here, but I'm not going to because in our birth charts, we have like, in my birth chart, I have every single sign. Okay, so I'm not going to say signs because that is, is just going to confuse somebody. So we're just going to continue with the story, okay? And that's how we're going to do it. Okay? So, yeah. Let me just move these up if I can a little tiny bit. I don't have too much space here. But. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards now and find out what these cards all mean, okay? We just got a basic, you know, idea, but let's dig a little bit deeper. Okay. We'll just do a quick three shuffle on this and then I'll move forward with it. One, two, three. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify the seven of cups for him on the he she reading for November 8th, 2019. What is this Seven of Cups for the Hishi reading? God, oh, angels, universe, ancestors, please give me a few cards. Let me know. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. So the two cards that flipped over, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the... Seven of clubs, seven of wands. You know what, you guys? Let me just do this. Because we can still see all the cards. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just trying to make the space because I, I like to show you guys all these cards. I, you know, I'm not just going to... People forget when you say it so quickly. Whatever. <clears throat> okay, so we have the queen of swords and we have the seven of wands. I want to get one more card, please, and it says, oh, there it is. Okay. Three of Swords. So somebody's trying to decide on something, okay, this emperor. Trying to decide on if he does come forward to this person. Is this person going to be argumentative? Are they going to fight? Whatever, right? And the queen of the queen of swords, you know, she's she likes to listen to hear whatever you know somebody might have to say. She's all right with that. But you know what? You know what she does when she just does not agree. She'll cut your ass out of the situation, right? 
She'll cut you off. And so this is why he's a little nervous on how he's going to approach this because there has been um, issues in the past. And the problem here is, is he is going through things with other people and in regards to this situation. And there's a lot of argument and this person's trying to defend themselves and try to, trying to, you know, move forward in a situation, but there's something that's, that's holding it back. And what it is, is, you know, a three party situation. So he might think that she is involved with somebody. Okay. That she's involved with somebody. He wants to come in and, and talk to her, but he has a feeling that she's going to be really sharp with her words, hurtful. Right? She's a, he's afraid she might cut him out because, you know, maybe that's how she was in the past. And it's hard for him to talk to people about it because it just brings arguments and him trying to defend himself. Or he's worried about how he's going to defend himself in this situation in regards to the three-party situation because he knows he has to come forward. Okay? Let's find out what this emperor is doing here. Who is this emperor and what has he got going on? Please let us know about the emperor for November 8th, 2019. This is for he, the emperor, for 2019, November 8th. Queen of Pentacles. There she is again. Okay. Let me get two more cards for... Ooh. And he's thinking about whether or not he can have victory because I'm thinking at this moment in time, he's thinking that he, you know, a tower moment is coming in, come in and he's, she's lost that he, he cannot communicate with her anymore. Or maybe with this queen of pentacles, the tower moment did come in and now he's thinking. He's thinking. He is thinking about what to do. He's just daydreaming about it. thinking, 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 having fantasies about whatever, dreaming, whatever. But you know what? This is not doing anything good. You know, this person might be in their head too much and they're letting time go by because they're just wishing and hoping for something. They're in fantasy land right now, whether it be a bad fantasy or a good fantasy. They could be having dreams, nice dreams, nightmares. Because of what the Queen of Pentacles has brought in. The Queen of Pentacles has brought in destruction into this emperor's life. Now he's in, you know, his own little world trying to figure out what to do. Perhaps this Queen of Pentacles held the energy of the Queen of Swords, who he was with. There was a lot of arguing and fighting because of a three-party situation because this emperor put put them in a three-party situation. And this queen of pentacles, you know, she might be financially stable and whatnot. She may have put things to an end. There's no victory here. And now he's possibly in his head thinking about what have I done or, or what can I do in this situation because there was some deception, right? He's having, he has a hard time defending himself over this situation because she's just too sharp. She just doesn't want to hear it. They, they probably don't have a very good communication or a very good relationship. And maybe this is why he's been set out and left out in the cold because it was over. She ended it. She may have ended it. And that's where that tower moment came in. What about this justice, justice card here? What about this justice card? What's going on in, re in uh, regards to the Justice card for the He and She reading for November 8th? Okay, well. <clears throat> so first we have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, it was a big old burden, big old burden, okay? Shoot, I pulled out a lot, a lot of cards came out, but I'm going to take them all because I'm... <laughs> You know, I'm already holding them, so might as well, right? This situation was a was 
a super burden, okay? It was a super duper burden, and, you know, that's what he was dealing with. He wants to start something new. He wants to take that fool's journey. He wants to work on something with somebody. He wants to communicate with them, you know, bring clarity. He's going to come in and speak his truth. And then he's going to move towards somebody. Right? So his justice basically is, it you know, it was a too much of a burden, number one. He wants to take a new journey elsewhere. He wants to work on something with someone else, definitely. And he's going to bring that information in. And he knows that the information is going to be harsh when he you know, tells this person it might be devastating to this person, might be her. But he's going to bring in that information. He's going to come towards her or whoever it is that we're talking about here. Whoever, you know, somebody was a burden. That's gone. Tower moment came in. They were left out in the cold. They found out information. They were backstabbed. They basically put that to an end because, you know, they didn't want to take it anymore. Okay, and the justice that they want is to move forward. Okay, and this person, you know, they knew it was too much of a burden to deal with this, you know, negative, you know, relationship. And they wanted to go into, they want to go on, on a new journey and they want to work on something with somebody. And they want to come in passionately and tell somebody about, you know, the situation and they want to move towards that person. Okay, they're moving towards that person to let them know what's going on. What is this two of swords here? Whoops, hold the cards upside down, my bad. What is this two of swords when it comes to the he side of the he she reading for November 8th, 2019? What is this two of swords right here? This two of swords. We have the Two of Cups. They're trying to make a decision on whether or not they can come and tell this person their emotions. And they're having sleepless nights. They can't sleep at night. They're in their head. They're constantly thinking about it. Let me get one more card. Okay. And this person is the King of Cups. So he does want to make the decision to come and speak to somebody about whatever's happened, right? He wants to work on something new. He wants to start out fresh. He wants to put all these burdens behind him, okay? He wants to move forward. He just wants to forget what has happened in the past. And he wants to start new. He wants to give his emotions. But he's having a hard time because he's he doesn't know how he's going to do it. He doesn't know how yet. Because right now, he is the king of cups. He is full of emotions. But, you know, like like it's showing here, he can't sleep at night. He's, he's bothersome. You know, he's bothered by whatever has, has what happened. And, you know, he's having a hard time. He's having a really hard, a difficult time dealing with this. So right now, he's in the mode of just trying to figure it out because he wants to bring that communication into somebody or, he, or you know, so there's communication that has to be had. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and bring these up and we will continue with her side and find out, you know, what's going on with her in this situation. God, angels, universe, ancestors, and spirit. All of the above. Please let us know. What next is in store for her side of the reading for November Ace of Pentacles? November <laughs> Page of Cups. November Eighth, <laughs> 2019. Temperance. 
Okay. So basically, she wants to start something new, some financial stability. She wants to give or receive financial stability in a situation, okay? She wants to start some fresh new financial stability somehow, right? And she is, the Page of Cups is like, of course it's a young person, and it's pre premature information coming in, premature emotions, you know. Um, it also denotes a younger person. So this person may be younger than her, all right? Maybe younger than her. And then we have temperance. And that's like, you know, she's got she's got a lot of patience now. She's got a lot of patience dealing with situations. Okay, she's learned a lot. She knows about a lot of certain situations. And she understands that things don't happen in a day. That it takes time, effort, patience. She knows that. So let's go ahead and find out what these cards mean in reference to her. I gotta move those up because I know I'm not gonna have room. Okay. Uh, oh, here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these a little three shuffle and then we'll continue. One, two, Three. All right. So, what is this Ace of Pentacles doing right here for her side in regards to the HC reading for November 8th? Hmm. Okay. Every time I say November 8th, it like jumps out. So, <laughs> I better not. I shouldn't have said that. I probably, you know, I spoke too soon, but we'll see what we got here. So, we have. The Four of Swords. Okay. Not only is this the Four of Swords, it's also the Death card. So maybe she is thinking that she cannot start this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning for some reason. And she's going to go within and try to figure it out. She might be thinking that somebody's in a third party situation. Okay. Or she might be in a third party situation. You know, like she may be trying to manifest somebody, but that somebody could have a person. Because I doubt that she's going to try to manifest a person if she already has one. Okay, so I'm taking it that she might possibly think and, and has come to this situation because somebody already has somebody. Okay. Okay, I just got confirmation by the left candle. So she's thinking that this person has somebody. Okay. She definitely wanted to work on something with them. Okay. She wanted to have that Ace of Pentacles beginning. But because of that Three, three of Swords energy, she's thinking, well, I think this person has somebody. And this is why they're not communicating. That's the only reason that she can think of. Because, you know, she's in her head. But, you know, without communication, how is she to know? So it's, it's probably that's what she's thinking. What about this page of cups for November 8, 2019 for the he and she reading? So now she's crying over spilt milk. She's sad about the situation because she's trying to manifest this, but she's not getting any information. So she's sad about it, you know? And she's sad about it, and it's a, and this is the king of, of cups that she's trying to, you know, manifest. What else do you have for this page of cups here? Yeah, she wants her wish fulfillment with that person. But, you know, without communication, nothing. All right? That's why she's trying to manifest. Maybe she's trying to manifest communication. And it's just not coming in. Okay. What about the temperance card here? What do you got for the temperance card? Well, she's patient and she's, you know, she's going to be working on her money, I guess, because she has nothing else, you know, to 
look forward to. It's not like she can go out and find someone new or whatever right now because, you know, you don't just have difficulties in a relationship. You end the relationship and then the next day you find someone new. No, unless you're one of those people who just can't deal with being alone, you know, who will just take anything to move forward. But, you know, she's not that kind of person. She's the type that, you know, she needs a little bit of time in between to get over things. So what she's doing now is she's working on her pentacles to try and, you know, stabilize herself, become grounded, you know, balanced. What else do you have for this temperance on this queen of... Whoa! That is way too much, you guys. Oh, gosh, I'll take it. I'll just take it, you guys, because this is going to be like the last row anyways. Let's see what all this is. What is that? <laughs> The Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups might be coming towards her. Okay, you guys, let me just get this all the <laughs> Let me get this out of the way here. Find out what all this is about. Okay, move that up a little bit more. I'm just going to have to do this, you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Might have to do two little rows right here. So she's working on her pentacles, and she's going to get information coming in, though. Information of um, love. Somebody's bringing their cup. Right? There might be some deception here. Or maybe communication of deception. Somebody may want to make her an offer. That she is not, um, you know, she doesn't say yes or no yet, right? She has to think about it. And the offer is of Ten of Pentacles, financial st security and stability. This information might come in quick and passionately. And the information that comes in is going to be in, in, in regards to the Queen of Wands, okay, and the Queen of Cups. So she could be holding both of these energies right? She could have water and um, fire in her chart. And finally, someone's going to come in passionately. Someone's definitely going to come in passionately and tell her about the love they have for her. Basically, that's, that's it right there, you guys. She's being patient. So maybe she knows what's happening. She's being patient. You know what it is, is. I think that she's giving it to the universe. She's giving it up to God. She said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and leave it to you guys. Whoever it is she prays for, whoever you pray for, you know, feminine side, you know, female side, <coughs> female energy. I think you might have just given it up because you don't, you know. But I do know that you are going to think about it. If that information does come in, you're not just going to jump on it and say yes. There's things that you need to find out first. And because you have healed yourself and become grounded and you understand things more clearly than you did in the past, you're not just going to jump on it. You're going to give it some thought. You're going to think about it, okay? Because you want to make sure you're doing the right thing, making the right decision, okay? You're not going to just, you know, give, yeah, 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 let's go ahead and go forward. No, you're not going to do that. She's not going to do that. She's going to basically say, you know what, I appreciate this information. I need some time to think about it. Or I need to see that there's not going to be any deception here. And that's what's on her mind, basically. She's going to test him. She's going to test him to find out if he has changed or not. I would. If that was me, I would definitely do that. You know? Yes, she's a caring person. Yes, she's giving. Yes, she's loving. Yes, she's nurturing. But she's not a fool. Not anymore, anyways. Because somebody has taught her not to be the fool. Somebody has taught her to go within, think about things, weigh the options, do the research, and find out if she's going to move forward. Okay, so that information may come into her. And she may have that Ten of Pentacles that she wants, but she's not 
going to say yes right away. She's got to think about it. Somebody has got to prove themselves to her because she's not going to go through that bull anymore. She's not. Okay? So that's basically what's going on in the he and she reading currently. Okay? I am going to pull, let me see what I have here. I'm going to go ahead and pull, um, let me pull two cards from the surrender deck, okay? I'm going to pull two cards from the surrender deck, and we're going to find out what the universe or God, angel, spirit, you know, Whoever it is that you pray to, whoever's watching this video, we're going to find out what the higher source is suggesting you surrender when it comes to this situation, okay? Because we all have things to learn all the time, constantly, every day, and we will be like that for the rest of our lives, learning lessons, right? That's what life's about, learning lessons, going through these lessons, and solving the problems, right? <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and give these a three shuffle beginning shuffle. One, two, and three. Woo! I just blew out his side of the candle, you guys. Um, mum, 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 mum. Darn, darn, double darn. I have no idea where, where the lighter is. I do want that relit. Okay. One moment, you guys. We're going to light it with this Palo Santo wood. So, you saw I shuffled that three times. I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut the deck. And then I'm going to choose. This is for his side. And this is for her side. I think I'll take this card. And then for her side, I'll go ahead and choose this card. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and find out for the he side what they need to surrender. Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Okay. So he is having these sleepless nights and all these problems. Why? Because he's not allowing support or love of others in, right? He is not allowing anyone to help him in this situation. He feels like he's on his own, like he has no one to talk to. He can't open up to anybody because maybe the people who he did open up to and he did speak with were deceptive. These are the people who have been decepted, deceptive to him, right? Maybe he feels that there is no one to talk to, and that's why he's up late at night trying to figure things out, okay? But universe is asking him, go and find the support you need. Let them in. Perhaps you can discuss your situation with somebody, and they can help you come up with a good, positive solution. Just know and understand, though, that if somebody's giving you an answer and it's making you feel uncomfortable and uneasy, like, damn, I shouldn't have told that person, that person is not going to give you the proper answer or the proper support. Okay? Just know that. Follow your intuition and, you know, realize that the person you went to is not giving you good support. But... If you talk to somebody and they're showing compassion and support 
and they care about your issues or your problem and they want to help you and you feel that love inside you like, oh, this person, they, they get me. They know how to help me solve this. Then you know to move forward, okay? But the universe or higher source, whoever it is you pray to, is asking you to let someone in and receive that support and love that you need because you can find solutions to your problems, okay? Maybe if this person wants to approach her, maybe he will find support in her, okay? Maybe he just needs to get a good night's sleep and make the decision and move forward, right? Let's find what's going on on her side. Surrender defensiveness, okay? Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So, like I said, this person might move towards her to discuss things, all right? He might make an offer to her, like as you know, shown from the clarification cards before. She, but she's going to stop and say, wait a minute, I need time to think about it. And she's going to take that time out to think about it because she's going to think about the deception. Maybe this person has deceived her in the past. But I'm telling you right now, you need to surrender that defensiveness. If somebody comes towards you, don't be all like, wow, I'm not, you know, F you, you know, starting fights or what. No, 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 no. Don't do that, you know. Remember, you are the grounded one. You are the one that's working on yourself and becoming grounded. You know, you're patient. You know, put all that that you have learned to good use and have a good, adult, nice, non-defensive conversation with this person. Because this person might be coming to you in a lot of hurt and pain. Okay? And maybe you have helped, uh, felt that hurt and pain before. But you know what? You don't need to be like that person and, you know, become defensive and not help. You're not that person anymore. Just because it's happened to you and maybe this person has done it to you or somebody has done it to you, it doesn't mean that you need to be like them and get all mad and show hate, you know, because that's not how the way we should work. You don't need to show hate. You need to try to show compassion and love don't show any kind of negativity don't bring up like well you did this and you you know what we're not talking about you right now we're talking about him so if he's coming in to confide in you and speak to you don't be defensive if you have things to say save it for later Okay, if this person comes in, they're coming in for help and support. They're not coming in for you to beat them down and hurt them even more, make them feel worse. Okay, remember the Six of Pentacles. You're a very giving person, right? So you don't need to be defensive. If you're giving and nice and nurturing and wonderful to all, why can't you be to this person? Sure, maybe negativity in the past. Let that go for now. Let it go. Like that song. Let it go. Okay? Let it go. And, you know, communicate with this person. That other stuff can come up later. Because what if this person comes in, tells you the story, and it was like, oh, my God, I'm so mad because the situation was not really against me. It was against that person. Hear the story first. You don't know all the details. Stay calm. Communicate efficiently. Show them compassion. You know, be sympathetic to what they have to say. And I can guarantee you things are going to turn out much better than, you know, you could have imagined. <clears throat> So I hope I was able to help somebody out there. You know, I really do. All I have to say is to show compassion and, you know, be sympathetic, not just to this person, but to everyone. Okay. Things happen. 
somebody comes to you and they need your advice and help, it's not, remember, it's not about you. It's about them. Let them speak first. You can, you can talk about yourself later. Try to heal what's going on in the present. <clears throat> it's the best thing to do. It's the logical thing to do. Right? That's when the heart and the head work together. Thank you. I'm showing appreciation and thanking my guides because I've just been, you know, confirmed like you were, that was a good thing I said, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so yeah. Just remember what I said and what the what you know spirit is telling you with these, you know, surrender cards. The reading was pretty plain cut, plain and simple. Okay. And this is your, these are your solutions right here. Okay, so if this resonated you, please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. And um, I would appreciate that to my subscribers. Thanks for coming and to any new subscribers. I hope you got something or information that you needed out of this. Um, you can click the drop down below and find out more information about me. Um, I'm currently working on a Facebook, but I don't know, for some reason, it's like not accepting things, you know, like I couldn't put a profile picture in and now they're trying to approve it. And a profile picture, they're saying, you know, put something with a person and, and no other people in it. It's me in my face, you know, how can, you know, <laughs> it's really confusing. I think Facebook has changed. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had one, but <clears throat> I'm trying to work on it and I will definitely put the link down below when it's, when I feel comfortable. Okay. And um, I did try to, um, you know, connect with at least two people I know, my sister and, and one of my best buds, you know, from the past. And um, hopefully I can get through to them. But, uh, yeah, this is your He and She reading for November 8th, 2019. And uh, my name is Mona. I'm sending you out love, compassion, support. Um, you know, happiness, joy, whatever I can to bring your situation to a better light for you, okay? My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye.